Hello chums, welcome to uh, Crafters TV. My name is Ben Mosby, thank you for joining us. It's Friday night, woo, and we're feeling all right. Yes, uh, we are here for the final show of the day. It's been a busy old day as well, with a brand new launch of those uh, new ornate nesting dies. Uh, and we will be featuring those over the course of this show. If you haven't yet picked them up, what are you even doing? Uh, we'll show you them though, alongside uh, tonight's masterclass, which is all about scoring. Uh, cardstock <laughs> is what we're going to be um, scoring, um, but it's you know all about <laughs> Johnny. Stay, stay. Uh, uh, it's, all, uh, it's all about uh, scoring. So we're going to be looking at all the various scoreboards that we've got. I'm sure the ultimate will feature. I've got an amazing pick of the day, uh, which features loads of different scoreboards for you. Um, and of course, uh, we'll be having a lot of fun because it's Friday night. Uh, we are still after. If you want to send them in, because who was it was asking? Phil was asking. Phil Watson wants to know. Are you still after limericks? Yes, please. Um, I've got another three lined up, which we didn't do earlier on. Um, and we, yeah, yeah, I've got the ukulele down there. But to use the ukulele, they have to be the diddle da diddle da the diddle da diddle da da the diddle da da the diddle da da the diddle da 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 Can I do the foam on a roll extended version? I can't remember the lyrics. Although I might have them written down somewhere. If I've got them written down somewhere, I'll do it. No, I might have them on my tablet. Do you want that in the concert later on? Foam on a roll extended version. Love it. So it's 45 minutes again. Yeah, we're only crafting for half an hour. Within 15 <laughs> minutes, then 45 minutes, then 15 minutes, and then another 45 minutes. Uh, no, we're not really. Or are we? Uh, well, no, we are here to uh, masterclass you on all things scoring. Um, and I know uh, I've got the lovely Michelle here with me. Welcome back, by the way. And I, and I know you've got a few questions have come through to you, uh, which you're going to answer over the course of the show. But we'll open the floor up to everyone tonight, yeah? Yes. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So I popped a little post on earlier and said, because actually I saw someone, I think it was Tammy, she'd posted on, I'm uh, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. <laughs> <It's just laughs> <on. laughs> I think that's what we call a gaffney there in the trade, isn't it? Bit of a gaffney. gaffney. Anyway, yeah, she posted where? So anyway, she didn't post on that page. She posted on our page. Um, she was struggling. <laughs> with um, some envelopes. So I commented and I said, actually, I'm doing scoreboards tonight. Um, I'll, I'll show you how to do it. And then I popped a post on saying, if anyone else has got any questions. So I've had a few come through. So um, I'll show you how to make, um, make these over the course of this show. Okay. Uh, fire away with those uh, questions. Fire away with the comments. Fire away with those limericks as well. Uh, already in this evening. By the way, we've got Victoria on the social tonight. Um, uh, yeah, Victoria, get ready. It's Friday night. Anything can happen and probably will. Uh, good morning from Candy in Portland, Oregon. Good morning. Ben McCarthy's in. Hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, Deborah Pleasant is in from Defiance, Ohio. What a place to live. Oh, Defiance. I like that. 
That's where my daughter should live. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Carla is in from Arkansas. Hello to Georgianne Curley from Clearwater, Florida. Hello, Roseanne Baker. Hello, Lillian Kwok, who says, hello, Ben, Michelle, and everyone else. Johnny and Charlotte in the gallery tonight. Hello. They, hey. Uh, Lois is in from Ohio. Cindy Malaluan says, aloha, aloha. Um, Zoe Carver's in. Deb Moravetz is in from Little Canada, Minnesota. Doesn't the US have the best place names ever? Little yes. Canada, Minnesota. Uh, Charlene Matthews is in from Florida. Rose M. Baker says, woohoo, Friday. Charlene Matthews, no, sorry. Yes, Charlene Matthews says, I'm so excited that I have the pro, but I need to learn to use scoreboards. You've come to the right place. Uh, Sherry Jackson says, hello from Ohio. I don't always get to watch the live shows during the week, but I've got off work early today. Yes. Hello again, Kim. Hello, Alcha de Vries, just says hello. Hello, Violet Hastings. And Tammy Murray says hello uh, from New Hampshire. I cannot wait to see the envelopes and everything else. Hi, Michelle and Ben. Hi, Laura Gray. Hi, Lynn Bledslow. And thank you, Phil Watson. You have sent me through a limerick. I will read it in just a few moments' time uh, and we'll put it into the concert uh, at the end <laughs> of the show, the concert. Will it make it the first 45 minutes or the second 45 minutes? You'll have to tune in. <laughs> maybe it'll be maybe it'll be the encore. Uh, right, shall we have a look at the pick of the day? Pick of the day, it's all to do with scoring, of course, um, and we popped together this deal, 24 hours only, and uh, actually, you've, well, you've got far less than that remaining, um, because we launched this this morning at 11. It is on for you until literally 10.59 tomorrow. Um, our pick of the day always comes with double points, and this one is all about uh, getting your score on because we're going to bring to you one of our fabulous scoreboards, comes with a uh, scoring tool, uh, whether you are a um, imperial or a metric, metric type person, uh, then you can obviously use this for all your scoring needs. Um, it's also, the right way around. Um, it is also uh, brilliant uh, for doing your boxes because you can make your box lids one side um, and your box bases to other side. We're also going to give you in this bundle your Envelobox Creator. So again, absolutely perfect for making envelopes of all sorts of different shapes and sizes, but this allows you to make the, uh, the deeper envelopes as well, doesn't it? Yes, the deep dish. The what? Deep dish. Deep dish. Oh, don't say that, Johnny. Just started talking about pizza eight minutes into the show. <laughs> That's how good King Wenceslas likes his pizza, isn't it? Deep, deep pan, crisp, and even. even. <laughs> oh, God, you're deep pan, crisp, and even. Uh, we're going to give you one of our boxer boards as well. Again, absolutely perfect um, for making all of your boxes. And this one actually fits nicely into your Ultimate Pro um, if you've got one of those. And we're also throwing in um, one of our embossing boards, uh, which allows you to make um, a whole host of different designs, including uh, the cute little teddy bear and the butterfly as well. Then you've got 10 sheets of our Lavender uh, Centura Pearl cardstock thrown into the mix and one of our must-have uh, Crafters Companion tape pens too. You're saving £22.94 on that, $20.32, and the platinum price is £32 or $36.80. Double points across that set as well. Um, we're going to be having a look at this and uh, over the course of the show, you know, as I say, open the floor up. Let's ask those questions. If there's anything particularly that you want to see, if we can show it, we will. Um, but Michelle, where are we going to start? Oh, oh sorry. That's all right. I... Go on. What? No, you go. <laughs> yeah, go on then. You go. I'll go. All right then. Okay. Um, anyway. <laughs> no, you go. Go on, I'll stop, I'll stop now. <laughs> I'm not going to do anything. So. <laughs> so I've got my little list of, um, I've got my little list of questions here that some of you um, have sent to me. So we're just going to go through I'll go through this list of questions, um, I'll answer them, I'll show you how to do them. Yeah. So I'm just going to bring in some card, I've just got my textured card stock um, that I'm going to be using, I've got my, I've got my guillotine. Um, so the first question that um, was asked of me, so it's from Tammy, she wants to know how to do um, a 6x6 six six envelope. And she also wants to know how to do a six and a half by six and a half envelope. So what you're going to do is if you've got this extra board, which is going to create your flat envelopes and your um, deeper ones. Yeah. Um, so I've got mine out, I've popped it on here 
I'm going to turn this round because then it's um, facing me the correct way. So you've got all your letters up here and you've got your numbers, one, two, three and four. So these here is depending on how deep you want your um, envelope box to be. If you want a normal flat envelope, you, it's going to stay on this one, number one. And then um, two, three and four, again, they are deeper, um, deeper sides. You're going to have this with yours. If you've lost yours or, you know, you can't find it, then you can, again, download it off of our website. Um, what I can do as well, if you struggle to find that link on the website, I'll take some pictures of this and I'll pop it on my page later. OK. Um, and then you've got all the sizings there. So a six by six envelope, just on flat. So if I bring this in here, you can see that it says flat envelope. So this is the page that um, we need. Anything that's in white, you can use an A4 size piece of card. When they, you can see them in blue, you need a 12 by 12 piece of card. And these ones here that are in yellow, it means that you need a larger um, size card stock. So you're probably going on to, um, you know, your A3s. Yeah. So it shows you them, you can see, it shows you them all in millimeters or centimeters. Um, which I don't work in, but it does do those. It does them in the centimetres and in the inches. So I'm going to come to this. So Tammy asked for a six by six um, envelope. So you're going to find your six at both, just like you did at school, and you're going to come across yeah. till you find that here. Um, and it tells me that I need to cut a piece of card down to nine and three eighths of an inch. So I'm just going to bring in my guillotine. And obviously, because it's square, it's going to be nine and three eighths by nine and three eighths. So I'm just going to double check because my memory is so shocking. So yeah, nine and three eighths. So you're going to get your piece of card, whatever it may be, and we're going to go to nine and three eighths. And we're going to pop it round the other way as well, mm -hmm. and go to nine and three eighths. So let's just pop that to the side and then bring this back in. So I'm just going to find my scarring tool. So again, I'm going to bring this back in, nine and three eighths. And it says we need position I and I, uh -huh. but also here it says use position one only. Okay. So position one is this one here, yep. which we're going to pop it into. And then I, I. And then I, I. Ah, um, yeah, I. Always making sure that it's level with here as well. Yeah. So this is going to go to another question that Olga asked. She says, tips on corners, getting them 90% or 90 degrees, sorry, and not wonky. Once you've lined it up in here, it needs to be lined up here as well. Right. Um, if that is just that tiniest fraction off, you're not going to get um, that perfect 90 degree corner. So what did we say? I and I. I, I. So we're going <laughs> to we're going to score down that letter I, All right. and we're going to flip it ninety right. degrees, one hundred and eighty degrees. Sorry, I'm going <laughs> to. So you're going to do your two opposite sides first. Uh -huh. So again, you're going to make sure that it's level in here and right. on here, uh -huh. and you're going to score down the letter I. 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 <laughs> and then. Um, if you was doing a different um, size envelope that was give you two different letters, this is where you would move to your next letter. But we haven't. It's the second letter it told me is I again. So we're just going to score that exactly the same. Flip it around that 180 degrees, making sure it's level here and here. And you're going to score down the letter I. Um, so for your envelopes, the highest I ever go for GSM is a, um, 180 is our paper pads and they are absolutely perfect. Our textured card stock is 230 to 250. Both of those are perfect. If you are wanting anything, I haven't cut my card um, square, have I? Is, no, that's eight, eight and a half. I've oh, gone, yeah, it's a bit wonky. Yeah, I've gone an inch down. So, really quickly. Good to um, show, though. Yeah, it is. 
works. Because what I've done is I've gone to the eight inch on here instead uh, of the nine inch. Um, um, because the lights shine on here, it's just sometimes so hard to see. Yeah. Um, so nine and three eighths. I've got nine and three eighths and eight and three eighths. So right. easily done. Easily done. Um, just whilst you're cutting, we'll say hi to Annie's joined us, Tim C's in, Kirsty D, Linda Fitzsimmons, Dieta. Or got your um, limerick from earlier, Dieta. We'll do that in a bit. Marion's Muda is in from Illinois. Diane Cadman, Roseanne Carbone, Jerry Walker, Christine Mahoney, uh, Terry Anderson. And Hannah's in uh, saying the Umbrella Box board is the first product I bought. I saw it on QVC and thought it looked so clever and bought it, even though I wasn't making cards. <laughs> um, and it is one of those things that yeah. is such a clever Invention. Such a great concept. And Hannah also says, uh, <laughs> Michelle is making this envelope by eye. By eye. <laughs> hey, I'll do the jokes, Hannah. I'll do the jokes around here. Thanks very much. Very good. Very good. Right, so I'm back to where I was. Yeah. Um, and you can see I had cu I'd cut my card um, just too short on that one side. So we're going to just score all four sides. And you can see on each side, you've got a little corner that just needs to be snipped away. So it's going to fold a lot better. So we're going to snip all four corners away. Mm -hmm. it's just a little triangle that you were snipping away. Uh, it's going to be bigger on certain ones than it is on others. But you're always going to want to snip it away. It's just going to tidy this up a lot more. Isn't it great to have these bits of kit available because you know we always talk about cards don't we but isn't it nice to be able to finish it off with a matching envelope it or, absolutely is that's know. what I love about this mm. um, it's just it means that you can personalize every single card that you've made with either an envelope box an envelope um, or then you can go on to do it with um, you know your box making and you want to make a proper um, box yeah so you can see that now I have cut those away. So you can see all four of those little corners cut away. When I fold that up, it folds up and it is in line perfectly. So when I bring those in, um, oh, it's nice. going to sit perfectly. So depending on how you want to do it, I normally bring both my sides in and I bring that bottom up. Now, if you find that it's catching just a little bit here, it's not folding flat, then all you need to do is go in and just trim just a tiny little bit more off the bottom. So then when I fold it up now, it's gonna sit perfect. Nice. And then all I'm gonna do, a tiny little bit of glue there, just to pop those two together. And then either with your red liner or using this, it's entirely up to you. You can use wet glue as well. Yep. Um, whichever is your glue of choice, making sure not to go in there. We're just going to bring that up, and you have got. That's brilliant. I've got that here. It's so it's six and two eighths of an inch by six and two eighths of an inch. It's always going to be that little bit bigger than your card base. If you've got six by six, it's going to fit in there. If you've got a six by six envelope and a yeah. six by six card, you're barely Probably, going to get yeah. it in. So you're always going to find that your envelope's just that tiny little bit bigger. So that is how you make any envelope, any flat envelope. Um, that's it. It's as easy and as simple as that one. And just on that note, and I know we chatted about this earlier, but you know it's fine because people tune in at different times. Altia wants to know what kind of card stock do we use for the envelope? So is there like a lower end and higher end GSM that you might use, Michelle? Um, I wouldn't go above a 250 GSM for an envelope. Um, you could go in into sort of real good card stock then. Um, and it's just, I don't know, an envelope is supposed to be more paper, I think, isn't yeah. it? Um, this card stock, it, well, it is card stock I'm using, but it's, um, it's a 230. So if I just bring this, it's this one. Oh, yeah. So this is a 230. And I find this perfect. Um, our paper pads, again, are absolutely perfect because you're going to personalise it even more, tie it in even more. Um, and our paper pads tend to be around about 180 GSM. Um, you could use copy paper if you wanted. I think that's about a 90 or a 100 GSM. Um, you absolutely could use that. You just need to be more careful when you're scarring it because you're going to go straight through it. Um, but, yeah, so I wouldn't... I would say that yeah. that is about... I think that's the lowest you can sort of get anyway, isn't it, your copy paper that's about 80 or 90 GSM? Yeah, 
Absolutely. Um, brilliant stuff. Um, Kit Harling says, hello, Kit. Um, Kit doesn't say hello, Kit. I'm saying hello, Kit. That'd be weird, <laughs> wouldn't it? Kit says, hello, Kit. No, Kit says, thank you so much for this masterclass. You can't be going over the basics. You can't. Um, I say basics, but never get the envelopes correct. Well, hopefully, Kit, by the end of this uh, show, you'll have a bit more uh, of an idea and a bit more uh, confidence of um, using the tools to help you do that. And if you haven't got them, of course, uh, you can pick them up on this show. Um, right. Let's have a look at the Ultimate Pro as well. Um, we covered this a little bit earlier on, um, but we have a fantastic deal on it today. Basically, I, I almost think this is like a little craft room that you can carry around, isn't it? Because um, with the Ultimate Pro, you've got the ability to be able to uh, make your cards, make your boxes, make your envelopes. Um, you can do your scoring with this. You can do all of your embossing with this. You have got the ability to be able to make ribbons with this. You can do your uh, cutting with this. Um, everything that you need is included within the box. I'll let Michelle open hers up in just a, a few moments time. But the deal on this tonight is tremendous. And again, let us know if you've already got the Ultimate Pro. We've got new people watching all the time. And I think it's really important for you to be able to share your experiences with what we bring to you to, with everybody else. Because obviously we're gonna say our gear is amazing. Uh, but let us know how much you love. Uh, like the Ultimate Pro, I know so many of you have got this. Tell everybody else why they need this in their life, particularly tonight, because you buy the Ultimate Pro, this is the price you would expect to pay with your discount, and then with your Club Inspire price, you'd have to 31.99 or 55.96, but then we throw in all of these other goodies. So we're gonna give you some of our red liner tape, that's the three mil, you get 10 meters of that included. We also then give you, because when it comes to construction, always important to get your burnishing done correctly, so we're gonna give you two of our bone folders, bone fold, I can't say that word today, Bo bone, bone, bone. bone. Boone, I want to say bone. Boone field, I'll just, I'll just I'll say it. <laughs> Boone. Your Boone fielders, uh, two of those, you've got the uh, straight one and the slightly smaller curved one. And then we're also going to give you uh, the Centura Pearl A3, snow white, hint of silver. And again, how perfect is this? Um, particularly if you like to do those uh, bigger projects for things like you're going to be doing with your Ultimate Pro, making your cards, making your boxes. Uh, this is perfect. And actually, uh, you're going to be getting 25 sheets of that included too. So all of that free, it actually amounts to, um, well, you're saving 17.97 or 26.93. I think it's a really handy set of freebies that you're getting there alongside the Ultimate Pro. Let's just talk about this with Michelle because I know you covered this in more detail earlier. And of course, we, we had the, the, the video with all of the explanation on it. But uh, for anyone perhaps who's starting it out or maybe is fairly new to, to crafting, this is a great tool to have, isn't it? It really is. Um, I mean, most of us could talk about this, um, you know, all day, every day. Um, it is absolute. If you are a beginner, yeah, it, it's got sort of everything in there that you need to get going. Um, if you are an advanced crafter, you have still got so much in here. It's not going to. It's not going to lose its value. It's not going to lose what you can use with it because you're more advanced, because you're still going to be doing exactly the same with it. So if I turn this round, you can see straight away on this side, um, so this is where I had my board before. So you've got these little notches, and that's going to allow you to pop all of your um, extra boards on. So your envelope box, um, you know, your boxer board, your um, shaped ones, mm -hmm. everything like that. So this is where they're going to sit. So they're brilliant add-ons to... Um, to extend what you can actually do with this. But straight away from the front, you have got, let me just grab um, an A4 piece of card. Um, so I was saying, e even for beginners and advanced, you're still gonna use this for everything because you've got your card bases on here. Yeah. So you've got your gatefold A5, gatefold A4. So beginner or advanced, you're always gonna be doing those. Your half fold, your five inch square, um, your half fold A4. So um, remember, when you're popping your card on, you're going to butt it up to the handle, mm -hmm. not the bottom. You're going to butt it up to the top. Um, and so just very basically, a half fold A4, you're just going to follow it across. Um, and you're just going to scar it. And you have got a perfect card base. Yes. So you know for the rest, it's going to work absolutely brilliantly for any of those that you're going to be using and then earlier i showed you how you can use these just to add that decorative embossed uh, detail onto your your cards or your envelopes mm -hmm. so if i bring in the envelope that i've already done 
a nice sort of um, pop it on here or if I pop it that way I can pop that beautiful embossed detail across yeah so we're going to open this up and pop these out I love I love this bit this is like a treasure trove of excitement, this one, isn't it? Treasure trove of excitement. <laughs> I love that description. <laughs> Let's pop it onto this side. So again, um, you can be making some envelopes on here. You can go to a certain size envelope just with this. And then when you're getting into, obviously, um, you know, different kinds, uh, different sized envelopes, sorry, mm. can't get my words out, then that's when you're gonna bring in this board. So you're going to, you know, obviously be able to make bigger um, envelopes yeah. and vela boxes. So let me just, oh, that's longer than I thought. That's a load of ribbon on there. <laughs> <laughs> so I was really shocked. I was just unraveling it again and again and again. It wasn't Make a big off. ribbon. Yeah. Hmm. So you've got all these little holes and these are for making your bows. So if you just want to make one standard bow, you're just going to wrap it round there. You're going to pop this underneath, bring it over. You're just going to put a little um, knot there. And if I, I'm not going to tie it too tightly because I want to do it um, again. You've got a perfect bow. You're going to tighten that up and you've got a perfect bow there. But what I love about this is when I make bows, I love to make um, a real good bow. So you can go around this as many times as you want. Yeah. So just keep wrapping and wrapping and do exactly the same. You go back in there, you. And um, I guess it doesn't, well, to a point, it doesn't matter what the width of, uh, width of your ribbon is it no, either, does it? No, absolutely doesn't. Pull that tight and then when you bring it off, you're just going to bring all those bits out, all your little bunny ears. <laughs> and you've got a nice, big, full ribbon nice one um so you know that's the easy easiest way to do it yeah uh, you know you can buy those things that look like an afro comb and you oh, can wrap it yeah. in and out and it, it's such a faff it's such a pain you're having to hold it in one hand yeah you're having to try and wrap around this is just by far the easiest way that you're going to find to do it and then on this bit so you've got these bits that are for um your envelope so if i pop this in here and you've got that lovely, um, you've got those little notches that allow it to sit perfectly in. Mm -hmm. And if with my scarring tool, I just follow, just, it takes a little bit, of, I find this takes a little bit of a practice. Once, once you get in that groove, you're literally. on your way. Literally. Get into the groove. <laughs> What are you doing then? Just embossing the... I'm just embossing the corner, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Is Which little... is absolutely perfect. A little heart. It. It's a little heart, yeah. Aww. So then when you close your envelope, can you see that? That little embossed heart on there. Oh, uh, yeah. How lovely does that look? Just the little touches just really add to touches, it. Just those little touches, yeah, on mm. your envelopes. And obviously you've got lots of different ones there. And again, these are all the same. They're for embossing, um, you know, those beautiful images onto your cards or your envelopes. This is where you're going to start all your separate bars. Yep. I've, already, oh, I've already got one in here. Take that one out. <laughs> and then again, this bit, this is like the multi-magical bit in the middle. This is where you're going to do lots and lots of stuff. Is there, um, I know you just picked up the trimmer there and I'll ask as Violet asks, is there a trick to using the trimmer? She says um, sometimes hers doesn't seem to cut through smoothly. Is there a trick to angling it or is it just sort of come with practice? Um, I don't think so. I think maybe it just comes with practice. Maybe uh, because if, if Charlotte goes back overhead, so I can show you this, mm. you can see that that moves. Yeah. So what you need to do is you need to make sure that it's buttered up to here. So when you get your blade in, it's going gonna, it's gonna to cut perfectly straight. Um, I think because obviously it's got that hinge here, um, it, it's just naturally that um, will wobble a little bit. So you just need to make sure that it's buttered up to there. And then when you go in with your little mouse, you're going to get mm -hmm. a perfect cut. So um, for your boxes, uh, I, if that helps, let me know if, yeah. if, you know if there's anything else you, if you're like, no, Michelle, that's not even what I asked. I think it um, is. <laughs> um, so again, this, this side here. You've got your centimetres at the top. Yep. 
and at the bottom you've got inches um, so you've got that ruler there and you've got box lid here mm -hmm. and box base here when you're making boxes on this you're going to only be able to make the depth in half inch increments yeah so these are all half inches so you know um, up to about six um, which is again when your boxer board will come in or one of your scar boards to make larger boxes or more specific you know if it's two and three quarters of an inch then you're going to use one of your um, scar boards this mouse I love um, because you're just going to pop it open your blade is sat nice and safely in there you're just going to move the notch open and when you close it you've got just that little bit of blade cutting out not cutting out popping out so you're just going to line this up you're going to measure it to wherever you want to measure it to so if i want that to cut down to nine inches i'm going to pop it there i'm going to make sure that this is nice and buttered up and i'm going to run my mouse through now it doesn't cut quite to the edge no um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn my mouse round yeah and i'm just gonna try and get it in the groove upside down i'm just going to bring that round and i'm just gonna i've look i've gone wonky that's because i let that go wonky um but you are going to be able to cut that perfectly but that's a handy tool as well right so if you wanted to like cut within the central point of a card or cut an aperture out that's like super handy for that yeah. which is obviously something you wouldn't be able to do with like a guillotine for example isn't it absolutely mm. um if you don't want to go back up and you've got that little bit there then just snip it again i haven't snipped mine very neatly you absolutely will um but that's how that little bit works and again you've got the these elements here oh, you, again so every part of this scarboard has got something on it you've got decorative elements to embed yeah. what's in um round the edges of scrapbook pages down the sides of your journaling pages on any of your cards that you're making let's pop that back in here okay pop this back in and the good thing is these are just your bog standard blades that once yours has um you know it's gone blunt you can just replace them easily from any hardware store pop that back in there and close it up Fab. and again you can see that you've got this um aperture here um so you can be cutting apertures out let me just quickly fold that in half so you can butt it up to there um, open it up do your scarring your embossing because you know that th with that being buttered up to the line you're going to get it exactly in the middle so you can just by scarring one half you can cut that aperture out um, if you were wanting to just scar that onto your card you're going to scar on the one side and then you're going to fold it over and you're just going to scar the other side um, and then so we were talking about this earlier when someone said um, she gets a little bit overwhelmed with her board yeah um and i said go through this just That's go it. through it right from the beginning so in in the introduction it shows you everything that you could possibly need so straight away card making it explains um to simply place your card stock onto the board with a shorter edge butted against the sidebar um, where the handle is so it even says in here you butt it up against the handle um, it's going to show you your basic half fold and as you go through it's going to get um, you know it's going to get a little bit more intricate but if you are following it through once you've you know figured out how to do all those basic ones you can go on and on to do more difficult cards so all the way up to your k card and even here look it shows you yeah um, the, how she's embossed that heart onto um, that card stock uh, and what you will find is when you are doing that um, when you've got it on there on any of our scarboards you what you're going to find yourself doing is you're going to keep lifting that up because sometimes it can be just a little bit tricky to find that um divot it's not a divot is groove it? groove thank divot's you divot's a good word though <laughs> you divot <laughs> <laughs> love that uh, so yeah so just keep lifting that up following it around and you're going to get there eventually and again yeah. don't use too thick a cardstock because yep. you're just not going to be able to do it um and again so it shows you the k card it shows you uh, bow making um there's top tips in here um basic bock bock basic box techniques bock <laughs> bock <laughs> 
บอกบอกบอกบอกบอกบอกบอกบอกบอ Ankle, not ankles, angles. Oh, it's all falling apart here. <laughs> Box divots, o b t u s e ankles. I mean, come on. <laughs> um, what I love about this is you've got the magic ruler technique. Um, I'm not going to go through it, but this is absolutely brilliant. If you've got a specific project yeah. um, that you want to make a box for, um, you need to measure your base cardstock to a specific size. Um, the easiest way to do this is to use the magic ruler technique. So it talks you all the way through that, and it makes it very easy for you to do your apertures, your wedge boxes, envelope making, three golden rules. It's all rolls, there, isn't it? Um, envelope boxes. Mm. You do have certain sizes that you can use with this. Um, when you are wanting to do something a bit more personalised, that is when you're going to bring in. Your extra boards, yeah, um, which are just it extends what you can do with this little beauty. So if I pop that in there, um, so I did have a question about a box. Oh if yes, that's all right. So yeah, I absolutely. Did, oh, an envelope box. Oh. So to make uh, obviously the deeper one. So we're going to bring this back in, and I'm going to pop it on there. A couple of people asked. I know uh, Olga asked. Olga Vasquez. Vas Vas Vasquez, sorry, I'm really pants with um, Vasquez. Name. Is it Vasquez? I think. Thank you, Vasquez. Olga. Olga. Is easier. Yeah. I love that name. Olga. Olga. It's yeah. a lovely name, Olga. Yeah. So I know Olga asked. Um, I know a couple of other asked. Um, so to make a one-inch deep box uh -huh. or envelope box. So again, you're going to bring in this fabulous uh, guide, and again, you've got it in millimeters. Um, and you've got it in inches, so I'm going to go to inches because she's asked about a six by six e n v e l o p box okay. that is an inch deep. So you can see here, if I bring it round, sizing grids. So a half inch depth, three quarter of an inch depth, and your one inch depth. So that's the one that we're wanting. Um, she's wanting a six by six box. So again, you're going to go from T6 and T6. And it's ten and three quarters, and again, it's I and I. The reason it is is because your sides are exactly the same. If I went to six and a half inches yeah. by six, your letters are going to change. Yeah. What are the colours as well? Is that depending on the size of the cards that you use? Yeah. Using? So if they're in white, it yeah. means that you can use an A4 piece of card or card stock. If it's in blue, you need a 12 by 12 piece of um, card or, or paper. Yeah. And then if it's in yellow. You need um, a larger size, so this one's 13 and a half inches um, by 13 and a half. So again, you're going to need a, a bigger piece of card, but um, so that's 11 and 7 e i g h t s 12 and a half. So yeah, they're just your larger ones. But we're six by six, so we are 10 and three quarters of an inch. So let's cut that down. So again, I'm just going to bring in. I'm going to bring in a piece of this textured cardstock. Okay. One um, because I just love it. It's the pastels, and it's just one of my favourite packs of all time. Just, just whilst you're cutting as well, it's worth bearing in mind. We've had so many comments coming through about the ultimate. d i e t a saying, "I've got the ultimate. I got it on HSM when it was first offered years ago." Violet says, "The ultimate was my first ever purchase. I use it daily. I've had mine 10 years, and it's still as good as new. Money well spent." Uh, Panda Craft says, "I love my Ultimate Pro and boards. Uh, it's fab, even if just for scoring your folds. I bought this years ago for 62 pounds. Uh, I use it every day. I craft. Definitely get it at this ridiculous price. That shows you, doesn't it? 62 pounds, like half price to, to when um, Panda Craft bought it. Love the Ultimate Pro says Lynn Bledslow. Uh, it makes boxing, boxing, <laughs> makes making bows a breeze <laughs> and fantastic for boxes, not boxing. Yeah. Um, and there's loads more. The Ultimate Pro is a craft workhorse says Rosalind, and I got mine from H S M. Says Annie Cagle. Yeah. Sorry, over to you. No, 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 that's all right. There's so mm. many people. It's nice. It's it's nice for those who are unsure of whether to get one or not. Actually, yeah. to know that there's so many people. Loads more as well. Mm. Right, so there's a few things you need to pay attention to. So we've got our six by six, ten and three quarters by ten and three quarters, which mm -hmm. I've cut. Um, I'm going to be using letters I and I, I I. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, but remember this bit here. Don't forget this bit. 
um, you need to use position one and four. So that's what's going to give us that inch all the way round. If I flick this over, let me turn it over. This one wants positions one and three. Um, use position one only. So your flat envelope, all four sides are going to go in position one. But when we're using um, or giving it that depth, remember to pay attention to this. If you are just paying attention to this bit here, your box is not going to work out. It's not going to work out at all, which is, um, or if you're just paying attention to that and you're thinking, well, I'm putting my card in one and four um, and you're forgetting your letters. Again, that's where, um, you know, it's easy to go wrong. So 10 and three quarters, we're going on I and I. So remember, it needs to line up perfectly here and perfectly there. So I'm in number one. Yep. And we're going to score I. Aye. So. <laughs> score high or score high? Aye. And Aye. then <laughs> remember position one and four. So we're going to go up to position four. And you, again, you need to make sure that it's level at the top and at the bottom. And you're going to score in I again. And you can see straight away that I've got my inch width there. We're going to go all the way round to 180. Or we're going to go all the way round 180. Put it in position one score down the letter I and then pop it up to position four making sure that it's nice and level at the top and the bottom and we're going to go down I again so we're going to turn it to the two sides we haven't scored now this is where if you had a different measurement um, you might need a different letter but we don't because it's going to be a square one so we're just going to stay in I. So I on position one. Mm -hmm. And you can see it's going to overlap straight away. And then up to position on number four. And we're just going to score I again. It's making it, do you know what? You've made it very easy for me. Everyone's asked for sort of the same measurements. Um, so I'm not getting myself confused. <laughs> it's nice as well on a Friday, isn't it? You want it nice and simple, nice, nice and, and easy. Nice and simple. Aye, aye. Absolutely. Dieter says she's laminated all the instructions, punched a hole in the corners and put them on a ring connected to the boards. That's a great idea. Yeah. Um, yeah. I know we do have the download on the website somewhere. Um, oh, okay. That's a good idea. So if you've... Yeah, we do have it there somewhere. Booklet. So if you can find it, that's fabulous. But if not, I will um, definitely... I can take a photo of these and pop it on my page. Mm and then they're always there but these are download bit just at the bottom scroll down yeah. hit download you'll find it there yeah right so i'm going to score all of these for you so you can see exactly where all my score lines are and you can see this textured card stock it just it works like a dream yeah it really does um thank you laura says the ultimate was one of the first craft tools i ever bought i still use it all these years later uh, I bought a pro, started making boxes, and now I'm addicted, says Zoe. I bought the boxer, the Envella boxer. I said turned to Chris Eubank then. Uh, <laughs> and several embossing boards, uh, since the embossing boards are addictive too. Um, and yeah, there's, there's loads of comments coming in. If you don't believe us tonight, and if you're, you, you want more, um, you know, kind of um, testimonials, they're all there wherever you're watching, because um, loads of people love this bit of kit. Yeah, yeah, they do. Um, right, so you're going to decide which is going to be your bottom and which is going to be the bit that you are leaving um, open. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use my pencil so you can see. We're going to cut that bit away and we're going to cut that bit away. You're going to do that on both sides at the bottom first. Mm -hmm. If you just do it one bit at a time rather than doing all four and thinking actually I've gone a little bit wrong somewhere. So we're going to trim those two corners out just on that one bit far now mm -hmm. because what you're going to do is you can see that that's going to come up and this needs to come over but this tab it needs to be cut so you if you cut it here it's going to fold round there if you cut it there it's going to fold up there um, but because this is my bottom we're going to cut it so that tab comes round so I'm going to put the little notch in like I always do. And you can see straight away when I fold this up, that tab's going to go around and it's going to fit perfectly. Yeah. So we're going to do exactly the same on this side. 
So I'm going to snip all the way down. I'm going to take that little wedge away. And then I'm going to trim that little triangle bit off there. And exactly the same here. So I feel, I feel like I'm going really, really slow, but I'm deliberately going really slow so you can follow it. Slow so you've good. got, yeah, your two tabs. Yep. So when you bring those over, it's going to sit just like that. Yes. So you need to bring it round and we're going to go to the top. Now for the top, you're going to cut that whole bit away because uh -huh. we don't need it. We're going to cut the whole bit away. Okay. So again, bringing in your scissors. Face Smith says, when you cut into the corners to cut out the notches, do you cut in the centre of the line or to one side of the score line? Um, I suppose as long as you do it the same all the way round. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so with the envelope, when I folded that back up, when I said it wasn't quite folding up, mm. um, fold it up. If you feel that you need to go in and just snip a tiny little slither off, then do it. But um, fold it up first, see if it goes okay. Yeah, cut in the centre. Fold it up first, and if it folds okay, absolutely brilliant. If not, you just need to go in and take a little sliver off. Okay. Um, so, I know Sarah likes to curve her corners, um, so you can go in and do that. I like the squared corners, mm -hmm. so I'm not going to go in and do that at all. So, again, I'm going to pop these two over first. So, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on here. Now, if I'm at home, I tend to use red liner. Yeah. Um, purely because it's just so strong. So I'm going to bring this bit up because I'm going to line these two bits up here with this before I even press my glue down. Because if I push those too far over or it goes wonky and then I stick it down, um, it's obviously not right. So I'm just going to line that up perfectly at both sides. See, can you see how I'm pushing that in and it's going all wonky? Mm -hmm. You need to go over there. So this one is just about making sure that everything's lined up first before you stick it down. <laughs> oh, you haven't stuck, oh, you... Oh, you little monkey. You little blighter, you <laughs> divot. <laughs> you divot, absolutely. So you can see, I'm going wonky, I'm going out at an angle, so you just need to make sure that you've got them nice and straight. This is probably actually where your wet glue is going to come in a lot better because you're going to have that chance to wiggle it out um, and make sure that it's exactly where you want it to be before you commit to gluing it down. Right, so I'm going to pop a bit of glue under there because I know it's going to pop back open mm -hmm. and annoy me. So then what you're going to do is all you need to do is going to pop a little bit of glue on that tab here, a bit of glue on there, and again we're just going to put a bit of glue up each strip or each side here and here. Just to say, if you're struggling to find the um, pick of the day, it's, it, it, it's, it, I think it must have fallen off the website. Um, it's back on there now. Just had a little message to say that, that, that is, it's on there now. Um, must have just fallen off. It's Friday, you know. <laughs> it's gone home. It's gone home early. Uh, but it is back there now. So, um, yeah, do, do check back if you're looking for that, the starter kit. Uh, Rosalind just says, I'm always asked where I get my envelopes. All the beautiful paper makes great cards with matching envelopes. Yes, bespoke your envelopes. Yeah. Um, a few questions coming through. We'll tackle in just a second as well. Um, Sue just saying, do you have to have, use a special glue to adhere the envelope? It's, not, it's no different to what we would normally use, is it? We're no, using there? no, absolutely not. So if you were talking about the top bit, yeah. you can get that special gum, Black can't gum, you? yeah. Um, but I don't use that. What I do is if I am making an envelope, um, for someone to buy, so obviously you're not going to uh, stick it short. Well, I use our finger lift tape. Yeah. Do I have some here? Because this looks really nice. So if you want in your envelopes to look professional for you to send them, then just get some of your finger lift tape and just snip the edges nice and straight and just pop it on. Um, and then do the same. So then when you were selling them, that looks nice and professional. 
if That's I it. just pop that on there as well. So obviously when whoever buys it, it looks lovely. So again, I'm just pressing this down because my glue still needs to grab a second. But that's it. So that is your envelope box. If I pop Brilliant. that over, you can see you've got that lovely one inch deep one or you've got your flat envelope. So that, again, so that's as easy as it is. You just need to remember um, to line it up, not just, let me bring it in again. What is the biggest size that you can make an envelope for as well? Just remind us on that. Um, it's saying the, well, we'll say in the book. So minute. this one here, a 13 and a half by 13 and a half. Oh, wow. Uh, at one inch deep. So mm. that is the biggest size. Yeah. Um, I think the biggest card I ever made is, it's an 8 by 8 I don't think I go much bigger, to be honest. But you can so, go much bigger, because a few people are saying, how do they make cards for, like, 8 by 8 But you can do that um, easily, yeah. then. Yeah, so your 8 by 8 it is it's using a piece of card, 13 and a half by 13 and a half. Yeah. So, yeah, so absolutely. And it yeah. tells you on there as well the, the paper size that you need to use re relating to whatever the size of the envelope is, Yeah, right? yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, again, if I show you um, this, if you have made a card that is four and a half by four, you're going to come here, it's going to tell you that you need an eight-inch squared piece of card. If it is five and a half by seven, you're going to need um, 11 inch by 11, and it's the, it's the letters that will alter, so you've got the H and K. So um, each piece of card that you're going to cut, it's only got one number here, yeah. 9, 10, 9 and 3 quarters, because you're going to cut a square piece of card. Um, and obviously, it's still going to create whatever envelope it is. So if it's a 5 by 7, so if I come to 5 by 7, um, it's the letters that will make the, the oblong shape rather yeah. than you cut in a square piece of card, if that makes sense. Brilliant. Well, I feel like we have uh, learned a lot over the course of that, uh, that hour. Um, thank you for all of the lovely testimonials that have come through on this. Uh, and uh, thank you for all the questions. I think we've covered most of them off here. Uh, I must say as well, a happy birthday to Brenda K. Tatchell, uh, whose birthday is today. So Brenda, happy birthday if you want to go for the ultimate pro the, the thing is with this as well there is loads more online as far as the pro is concerned if you go on our uh, facebook page probably easy to go on youtube you'll find videos upon videos upon videos of um sarah with the ultimate pro we've featured this on so many shows as well over the years so you're going to find even more inspiration and ideas and techniques and guides uh, as far as this is concerned best thing to do probably is if you subscribe to youtube you'll be able to see uh, all of those videos there and, and select the ones which um, pertain to the Ultimate Pro. It's a great night to get it because you're only paying $31.99 or $55.96. Like some people say when they bought this a few years back, paying £62 for it and worth every penny. But tonight you pay just $31.99 or $55.96. We give you free uh, bone folding tools, bone folding tools. We give you free uh, red liner tape. And we also give you uh, some of the Centura Pearl, uh, A3 Centura Pearl in the uh, hint of silver in the snow white again so absolutely perfect for making uh, those bigger projects things like your construction uh, boxes and uh, you know envelopes as well absolutely perfect for that it's a great bundle if you want to grab it it is 31 pounds 99 or 55 96 we're going to take a little bit of a break and um, on the top of this break or at the start of this break we're going to play that video again that we played earlier because i think it's really handy uh, to have a little watch of this so as much as michelle has uh, explained loads of the features and taken you through a little bit as far as the uh, ultimate pro is concerned there's another little video that we can show you here uh, and off the back of that we've got a short little break as well so it's a great opportunity for you to get your baskets checked out and when we come back we're going to take a look at today's launch if you missed it uh, we do still have stock available and know it's still very busy for this uh, we'll take a look at that um, in around about four or five minutes time The Ultimate Crafter's Companion is an all-in-one compact carry case which is going to allow you to score, measure, trim, emboss and embellish. The case incorporates 10 vital paper crafting tools all rolled into one lightweight and portable product. If you're crafting at home, this makes a great workstation. Or the carry case design allows you to easily pack up everything you need for crafting on the move. 
With the Ultimate Crafters Companion, you can make hundreds of different cards in all shapes and sizes. Working with standard card and paper size, you can fold anything, from basic bifold, trifolds and gatefold cards, right up to pop-out, jump-up cards, or even more complex keepsake books. Simply rest your cardstock against the carefully calculated grid lines, read off the desired size, and use one of the specially designed scoring tools to create an accurate and very professional crease. Every card needs an envelope. And with the Ultimate Crafters Companion, you can make envelopes in any shape and size to match all your handmade cards. Package your delicate craft project in colour-coordinated matching envelopes and add a professional finishing touch. No longer will you be restricted to making cards to correspond with ready-made envelope sizes. With hundreds of possible size combinations, your imagination is the limit. And for those really special dimensional cards, you can create 3D box envelopes to not only house, but to protect your handmade card creations. Create your own boxes in any shape and size, from a matchbox right up to a shoebox. All of the calculating and measuring has been taken care of for you, so you can simply follow the guide and create custom sized boxes which fit together perfectly. Triangular, hexagonal, diamond shaped boxes are all possible, as well as your regular boxes. You can also create specialised exploding boxes or expanding boxes too. You can even make your own favour boxes for those special occasions. Any craft toolbox should include a paper trimmer and when you're crafting on the go with the ultimate paper crafting tool, you'll need a paper trimmer at your fingertips. The integrated trimmer stores inside the tool and clips into place for easy access. The ergonomically designed cutting mass holds a standard sized blade which is very easy to replace. Create delicate embellishment for your paper crafting projects with the integrated bow maker. The simple six step process will allow you to create perfect bows in an instant. For paper embellishment you can use the decorative embossing shapes which are featured throughout the board. Emboss onto special papers, vellums or even acetate to create your own intricate toppers. Everything you need comes included with the tool and stores inside for easy access. Each unit includes a full colour instruction book, cutting mouse and ruler, the bow making pegs and two specially designed scoring and embossing tools. Whether you're crafting on the move or using this as a complete workstation at home, the Ultimate Crafters Companion provides you with all the tools you need at your fingertips. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. So join our family of craft experts with live tutorials and demonstrations every day. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products here on Crafters TV. Get creative and craft along with our amazing deals. Your next craft project is only a click away. Tune in live seven days a week or watch on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook or our YouTube channel. You can chat to us, craft along and meet new friends in our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like, um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. You all have time with each other! <laughs> You're not through to boot camp. Get off! <laughs> <laughs> There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. So, stop what you're doing and enjoy the fun here on Crafters TV. Judy Goss says, great show, many thanks for the demo. Uh, Tammy Murray says, uh, one envelope, one, <laughs> one envelope, ah, 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 two envelopes, no, <laughs> Johnny, <laughs> four envelopes, ah, ah, ah. Five! Ah, ah, ah. No. <laughs> Sesame Street. The, what do you mean, who's that, Charlotte? It's Count Von Count. Count Von Count. Seven! Ah, ah, ah. I am the Count, and I love to count. Uh, Tammy Murray says, oh, no. One envelope box made. You make everything so easy. That is why I love watching you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Matty Taylor says, great product. 
Uh, Vanessa says, I love the Ultimate Pro Box. It's amazing. And Laurie says, the Ultimate is a forever crafter's friend. I like that. It will never go into retirement in my crafty world. I love having it handy for so many things, from an easy score line <laughs> to making a quick box and perfect, bo uh, perfect bow, uh, you say as well. Hopefully, uh, Michelle has demonstrated most of that over the course of the last hour. It is a fantastic bit of kit. Talking about a fantastic bit of kit, uh, the... <laughs> What's so funny about that? What, that? what was the accent? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> what was it? Talking about a fantastic bit of kit. Like, is that what I did? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, talking about a fantastic bit of kit. The uh, ornate nesting dies, brand new today. We do still have, unbelievably, a small amount of the showstopper available. Uh, there are less than 40 of these showstoppers available. So if you're an um and an in and Dillian and Dallian, then get yours now uh, because these are gonna go. So what am I getting in the set? You're getting the dies, of course, the brand new ornate nesting dies. These are brilliant again, uh, because what you get within each set is set six dies. The actual beautiful frame itself, the inner detail die, and then four little um, corners, four embellishments, if you like, which give you ultimate versatility. And have you seen over the course of the shows today, three great projects with Michelle earlier, uh, six, I think, was it with Sarah earlier on? Loads of different ways to be able to use these. And the fact that you've got all of the separate sort of corner dies, it allows you to decorate these up in so many different ways, use them across many a collection too. Um, just the, the most versatile set of dies I think you'll probably buy. You've got two sets of squares that one there was your ruby you've also got the topaz in there as well so one of the rectangles and then the last one that you get within the collection is the opal and again look great together matted and layered uh, but a beautiful frame for uh, an aperture this used separate of that frame looks fantastic these used on their own look amazing and all of these corners by the way they're all different within each set and all def different um, within each of the sets. So you get 16 different corner dies alongside the different designs of the frame and central piece as well. So those are all the dies that you're gonna get. If you wanna get those individually, well, as a bundle on their own, you can do, but the majority of people have gone for the showstopper, which brings you all of these other goodies for free. So we're gonna, not for free, for half the price you would expect to pay. So you're gonna get one of these amazing uh, sentiment dies. This is, if friends of flowers, I would pick you. Alongside that, we're giving you two of our uh, beautiful fancy sentiment stamp and dies. So you get the uh, die to be able to cut out the uh, mat for the stamp, which is friend. So you've got special friend, special friend. <laughs> and then you've also got just to say included in there too. And that isn't all, because alongside all of that, we give you a whole host of consumable goodies, like 12 sheets of our heat resistant acetate. You're also going to get 40 sheets of the matte black cardstock. You need this day in, day out in your craft room. Uh, we're giving you that within the bundle. On top of that, we're giving you a set of some of our most popular cardstock that we do. It's our luxury card stock, where you get 30 sheets, 10 of the glitter card, 10 of the mirror card, 10 of the matte mirror card, and if that's not enough for you, we're also bringing you uh, your Centura Pearl in the trends. This is the eight color pack, 40 sheets, five sheets of each. I think this particularly shows you just how beautiful our Centura Pearl is and that pearlescent sheen and shine that the cameras are picking up there. Uh, you're getting running through all of these eight different colors within the set. And uh, do you know what, for 64 pounds or $80 today, that is incredible. And worth bearing in mind that the next, I think it's 38 people now to pick this up, will get this price and you'll also get free shipping on the Showstopper as well which again, I think just opens up a whole host of possibilities for you because um, you're gonna save on that. And also then if you're thinking to yourself, well actually I've spied a few deals within the Fiverr Friday section on the website because that's live until midnight. You can whack those into your basket as well and not worry about paying extra shipping on those. So once you've opened up your free shipping basket, you're away. So if you like this, grab it. You've gotta be one of the final 37 to get this now. Uh, alongside that, throw in some more items from Fiverr Friday, which by the way, has the uh, stamping solution, the spray, what's it called? The cleaning solution uh, available for a fiver in that um, section of the website it's all there for you now I'm delighted to say I think we can see a demo with this as well because uh, Sarah did say that uh, she had some spares because um, she did six she was attempting to do nine uh, but you, you've got one haven't you that we can we can do now yes 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 yes, yes. yes. 
So uh, I have got this though as well. Oh yes, Sarah's uh, brought that in now. Yeah. That's the new rule apparently because it's, it's been launched in the US and I mean not here on Crafters TV yet but it's been launched here in the UK we can now use it where did I went running straight into Johnny I went please can I use it <laughs> so this is my first time no is it actually yeah. I think we so should I'm cherishing the moment can you see <laughs> stroke the machine was it was that not plugged in at the start of the show then no oh. I was using the old one oh. the OG so this is your tired. first. How amazing is this? We Look get to. All right. We get. <laughs> <laughs> we get. It has look. Look, it has look. And it, it has I know. You put your chocolate in there, or is it tools? Chocolate. And it's got the little stand, isn't it, at the top where you can put your. Yeah. And three USB ports in the back, so you can plug them all in. I know. And it's got the Easy Glide feet. Watch the Easy Glide feet. <laughs> Don't lean on it. Whoa! It's gone. <laughs> It's just so beautiful and sleek and slimline, a little bit like me. Hey! <laughs> and before, <laughs> Friday night, it's got seven o'clock, here we go. Um, you can't take it home before you ask. I know what this is leading pocket. to. Huh? It fits in my pocket. If it fits, it goes. <laughs> How big are your pockets? You can, she'll be sneaking out later on with big coat on. See you later, guys. You got anything in there? No, no, nothing at all. Shall we do a demo? Yes. <laughs> and I, can't, I cannot wait for the first opportunity that you get to run your plates through there. So it's a momentous occasion. So excited. Um, I'm going to use quartz. Um, I'm, I'm a little bit excited, so uh, bear with me. <laughs> so you can see, again, we've used these um, today. Sarah's used these. They are just absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to bring in one of my new plates. Oh, yeah? I'm going to put some card on my new plates. In my new plate. <laughs> Where are you seeing it like that? In my new plates. I'm going to pop this in the middle of my paper on my new plates. On my new plates. <laughs> You're going to love it, Michelle, says Stephanie. Enjoy. Thank you. The G2 is perfect, says Laurie. Is that what it's called now? The, the G2. G2. Hey, I'm the G2, <laughs> not the T2. So I'm just lining this up yeah. in the middle uh -huh. of my paper on my new plate. <laughs> and then you bring I'm going to bring in my, my oh no I'm not, no? too excited look, let me pop this on as well. So yes, I want to cut one of those I feel out. like we should get like a fanfare going for you as you run the plates through. I'm so excited, I'm holding off, can you tell? I, I didn't really forget that. Making the back, yeah you don't have to grab it the other side. No. You can spin it around so... the horse as well. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Shh, shh. Whisper quiet. Oh. It stops at the other end, won't it? Stops, definitely stops. Look, watch. There you go. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's so exciting. And you can spin it round now, can't you? Because it's the you easy can. glide feet, so you don't even have to like stretch. I'm not risking that. No? I'll spin it round and it'll go. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh. My goodness. How was it? That was the best ever. <laughs> the, best. the best nine seconds ever. Oh, brilliant. I, oh. I can't get over how quiet the blooming thing is. It was it's incredible. Yeah, so quiet. Oh, dear. I loved that. So, um, <laughs> this is the bit that I'm going to use. Um, obviously. We just. What, what else can we cut? Give me stuff to cut. Just whack through whatever you want. Come on, let's just enjoy the moment with you. Forget about the demos. Just cut a load of stuff. Come on. Right, let's. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> right. So I'm going to bring in. So my box lid. I'm going to bring in my new plates. I'm my pop new plates. <laughs> oh yes. In. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Michelle Harris. That <laughs> is brilliant. Michelle, I'm going to repeat you because you said it at home. Michelle says, do you need a cigarette now? <laughs> I don't know what that means, but that is funny. <laughs> I don't know what she means ah. at all, no. <laughs> no smokers here. <laughs> 
So, I mean, the thing is, you know, you guys who've got one of these at home, you have got to have been as excited as me to use this for mm. the first time. <laughs> just so quiet. Just as good second time around, right? <laughs> Who'd have thunk it? Who'd have thunk it? <laughs> I love that. Oh, my gosh. It does purr as well, Laurie, doesn't it? It's, it does, it purrs. It, yeah. purrs. it doesn't sound like mechanically and, mechanically? It doesn't sound mechanically and sort of clunky. It just, it, it, it purrs like a well-oiled machine. It really does. Um, so I'm going to pop those to the side because I don't want those quite yet. Let me just tap. I saw Sarah doing this earlier, so Sarah can do it. Yeah, as long as you tap the I right side. Yeah, of course. Right, so um, my extra bit, so I'm going to bring that in. <laughs> I'm a little bit distracted, I must admit, because I just keep thinking now, what else can I run through it? That was like, that was smooth and silky. Yeah. That was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sometimes, you know, sometimes I need someone to say, Michelle, stop. No, I love it. Carry on. <laughs> Um, Tammy, Tammy says it's awesome. We've got mine on HSN. You're going to love it. I'm so excited. I'm like a kid in the candy store, says Tammy. Deborah Pleasant says I love mine. Who else has got a G2? Uh, let us know in the comments if you've used yours. What's your experience been like with it? Uh, were I've you seen, as wowed as Michelle was? I've seen so many people saying um, that they've, they've got it and loved it. Mm. And then people are like, right, yeah, I need to get one. Absolutely. If you haven't yet got yours... Uh, 30th, isn't it here? Is that right? 18 days yeah. time. Two weeks on Tuesday, it's launching on Crafters TV with Leanne. Yes. Uh, Rose M. Baker says, right on, the noise of the G2, it's fabulous. I'm loving mine. Sherry Jackson, I love my Gemini too. That, what, do you know, do you, I think it's nice actually to see someone use it for the first time live, mm. like you just did me, and it's just, uh, well, you can see, it's amazing, it really is. Right, so let's bring this in. So I have brought, I've got a different piece cut out because I don't think that one's going to fit. I've cut it just a little wonky, so I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to use the one that I previously cut out that fits absolutely perfectly. Mm -hmm. So let's just um, glue it down. So this is um, this is that gorgeous. Um, what's it called? What? Oh, um, uh, Enchanted Dreams. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Give <laughs> me the knowledge. So I'm just bringing in my dotted just for these because I'm going to pop mm. a little bit of um, acetate behind oh, yeah. this. So I want all these little bits to stick down. I think I'm getting that. good with my paper pads, especially the more recent launches. They seem to have stuck in my mind a little bit more. I don't know why. Um, yeah. Maybe oh. if I'm in on a Saturday at any point in the future, we could have like a, uh, a paper pad guessing game. Hint, hint. Nudge, nudge. I'm yeah. in on a Sunday this week, don't tell you. I'm in on the weekend. Who's tuning in Sunday? I'll be here, me and Corinne. Charlotte will be here. You're here tomorrow, aren't you, with Corinne? I am here tomorrow with Corinne. Yeah. Go team Michelle, come mm. on, play your crafts right. Which side will you be? Oh, you'll be that side, won't you? Yeah. Oh, I don't normally cheer for YouTube, but I'm cheering for you tomorrow. Oh, thank Because you. you haven't won yet, have you, did you say? I have won. Oh, you have won. Oh, yeah, I, think I have won. won. I'm just not very good. I think it's a bit of a fluke when I um, win, I must admit. Do you, do you know what the game is tomorrow, Charlotte? It's, oh, here we go. It's to do with cocktails. <laughs> oh, well, Corinne's going to win. <laughs> well, what, are you, what are you trying to say about Corinne? <laughs> you don't like, you... She's a bit posher than me. Do you not drink I cocktails? I drink shots. She drinks cocktails. You don't drink cocktails? Um, I don't think I've ever had a cocktail. Ever. There's a few that I'd what? like to try. No. Never ever? No. See, um, I don't drink cocktails, but I've had cocktails. Like, on, when are you on holiday? You know, if you, especially if you do, like, an all-inclusive, you have to kind of go through the cocktail menu, don't you, yeah. and try a few. I wouldn't, oh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't drink one normally, but, um, you know. 
I haven't had one in my village, thank you very much indeed, Johnny. So you've got to have one where you live. But no, no, I, no, I have never, never, never have I ever. Uh, oh dear, well you might be in trouble then. <laughs> what is it, in, is it ingredients of cocktails, is it? Is that what the game is, Charlotte? Is it ingredients, or oh, she doesn't know? Well, at least, <laughs> listen, at least you know now, you can go home and start doing a bit of swatting. You step ahead of Corinne now, aren't you? I should go home and try them all. Yes. <laughs> and then you'll come in tomorrow and you won't care whether you win or lose, will you not? No, no I won't be bothered. <laughs> <laughs> I might be a little bit ill. <laughs> Victoria says, Michelle's never had a cheeky mojito. No. Never had a cheeky mojito. I've, I've lived a it. sheltered life. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a Yorkshire lass. Well. Normally go out and have a pint of cider. That's it. <laughs> well, not a pint of bitter. <laughs> <laughs> Real ale and a pie. <laughs> Johnny said, that is brilliant. <laughs> oh dear. Pie and peas. Oh, love pie and peas. Pie and peas. Um, we had that for our um, last season when we had our, um, it's so funny, we had our cricket awards do. And um, we, I didn't kind of know what was going on, but I was sort of saying to Laura, like, oh, you know, <laughs> their awards dues, they're normally quite, you know, dress up kind of quite nice and probably be, you know, nice meal and whatnot. And um, yeah, we got there and it was just the most, up here, the most laid back do ever. And instead of like, cause Laura's expecting like three course meal kind of thing. And it was pie, pie and peas, pie and <laughs> peas. <laughs> yeah, I, I, we, we, yeah. There she was, like walking in in her ball gown. <laughs> no, she didn't, thankfully, but yeah, she couldn't believe it. She'd have seen her face when we got there. She said, like, where's the meal? I was like, I think that's it. Pie and peas. <laughs> Get stuck in. <laughs> it was nice. You can't, can't beat, beat it. Pie and peas. Nah, can't beat it. You love your, love your pie and peas up here, don't you, eh? What's that other thing you guys eat up here? Um, oh, yeah, peas pudding. Oh, do we eat that up here? Oh, yeah. no. That's, I don't really like that. Peas pudding and ham sandwiches, isn't it? When, when I used to sing the, the, the rhyme, the, is it a nursery rhyme? The peas pudding hot, peas pudding cold. What? I didn't realise it was a real thing. What's that nursery that? rhyme? Peas pudding hot, peas pudding cold, peas pudding in the pot, nine days old. I've never heard that before in my life. Must be a northern thing. <laughs> um, so you, I, you can see that I've replaced that back in onto the acetate that I've got behind. Now what would look really nice is if you got another piece of acetate, cut it a little smaller, um, filled it with some shaker elements and then you've got that shaker element in your box rather than on top of your box. Um, and obviously by cutting the acetate smaller, it's still going to sit on to, to your box. And then you've got that shaker element, like I say, below rather than on top, which looks absolutely um, amazing. So all I'm going to do now is I've got a little bit of ribbon. I'm going to pop that on just here. I do have some gems, but they're not um, they're not sticky back, um, so I'm not going to pop them on. Okay. Because <laughs> they're not <laughs> sticky back. So <laughs> let me just. So again, so adding that ink. So when I I use the crushed velvet, so adding the crushed velvet ink just on the edge, it just makes it pop from that. Um, the paper that I've sat it in and if I just turn that round it's just a really nice simple beautiful box um, with that gorgeous element cutting in fact I'll tell you what I forgot I know I was forgetting something look my frame oh, of course so let's just tape that down um, I did I was looking at my box thinking is that it um, but I have I've missed a little bit so Phil wants to know if you've ever tried a snake bite we were talking about that earlier. Half, half a lager, half a cider, isn't it? Yeah, I've had ooh, one of those. I'm ooh. from Yorkshire, I've had one of those. I used to have that in my bottle when I was a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Bring them up on the good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Ooh. Dear, oh dear. <laughs> Not for me. Yeah, my, uh, my cousins, they live in Hull. I, one of them's passed now, unfortunately. Mm. But when they first met my husband, they got him on the snake bites. Um, my husband literally didn't know what had hit him. Um, I don't think he remembers that night other than <laughs> that was the night he first met my cousins. <laughs> <laughs> 
If you've, I remember that now. <laughs> if you've never tried it, don't bother, is what I'd say to you. <laughs> Headache juice, that is. There we go. So that frame really makes it pop now, doesn't it? That is there brilliant. So good. And then again, another great way to show you how to use these uh, ornate nesting dice to their full potential. Uh, £64 or $80 for that collection. Uh, loads of chat coming through as well about the Gemini 2. Love the Gemini 2, says Annie Cagle. Uh, uh, but oh me and my quirks, uh, I couldn't bring myself to scar up the new plates yet, so I'm still using the old ones. <laughs> but that's the thing, isn't it? You get something like so brand spanking new, it's like, oh, yeah. I don't really want to use it quite yet. Steffi says, yeah, I've got the Gemini 2 or the G2, quite and easy to use. I like the fact I can use my original Junior and Go plates too. Yeah, Sarah was saying earlier on that um, Craig did a little uh, video recently where he uses Go plates through it. That was amazing. It's got the optical sensors in it, hasn't yes, it? Yes, of course. I mean, I knew all that. I knew everything that it did, but it didn't click with me that mm. you can put those smaller plates through because it's going to work. It just didn't click. And I saw Craig's um, post and I was like, I was even more shocked then than I was just no, on par but yeah it's so there's just it's very little leaves me speechless but the amount of stuff and how fabulous this machine is it sort of it does it takes my breath launching in 18 days on crafters tv uh, lots of love for your box as well michelle says love the box and stephanie says beautiful michelle i tell you what we're going to give you a chance to check out uh, we've got about 35 of these now remaining they're disappearing if you want to get the show stopper uh, you're going to have to get this checked out today otherwise you're going to run the risk of missing out get your free shipping with that as well don't forget uh, we will take a short break get to the checkout and when we come back we've got all of the votes to do of course uh, and we'll see another little demo with this set because you guys are absolutely loving this this evening um and we might do a little limerick or two we'll see we'll see uh, still chance you to send your limericks in by the way it's national limerick day uh send yours in wherever you're watching right now and we'll we'll, we'll read the best ones out towards the end of the show whilst we're waiting for the vote but in the meantime head to the checkout we'll see you in about three or four minutes here at here crafty, at crafty TV, TV, it couldn't be easier to get your hands on the latest crafty must-haves leave the hard work to us while you shop from the comfort of your own living room Head to the Crafters Companion website to see our full crafty range or hit the Shop the Day button to see all the new and exciting products featuring on Crafters TV. Once you've filled your cart, leave it to us to get your crafty goodies to you in super quick time so you can get on with being creative. Crafters Companion, making crafty shopping a breeze. Dad was a printer, which was the old, you know, the old letter set printer, the, the, the type, the old printer's type. So he used to bring home off cuts of card. And so I always had paper and card around me from as long as I can remember. He would donate bits of off cuts to the school I went to. And so it was always accessible. Um, my mum and dad bought me colouring products, art products, and you know, good quality art products, like adult quality art products. So I found I could draw from a really early age. So really between that and crafting, it's just been punctuating it all through my life. I think you can get inspiration from anywhere. Um, it's hard, there's never one source. It's from anywhere, it's from, it could be a crafting person, it could be a non-crafting person. It inspires me in different aspects, you know, it could be um, art, art, inspiration from artists, inspiration from crafters, or inspiration on just inspiring people. It's all about the viewers. If it wasn't for the viewers, then there is no purpose in what? Oh yeah, what am I doing it for? It's not about me, what I can do, it's about what I can inspire the viewers to do. And if I'm not inspiring them, then I'm not doing my job. So it's all about the viewers and it's all and keeping them um, interested, um, uh, fired up to give things new things a try. And mostly any blocks, anything that holds someone back is more confidence than ability. That's what I've found. So if I can inspire people and give them that little bit of confidence to give them the nudge, fantastic. I think the biggest achievement is keep doing what I'm doing for so long. Now, I remember, you know, when I first started, um, I mean, when everything's new, um, it, can, it can just, you know, maybe the, um, the enthusiasm and the love for what you do might, might wane. 
but it hasn't. You know, here I am, as I said, 18 years further down the line, professionally crafting. And I think that's my greatest achievement is that I'm still loving it, doing it, enjoying it. And the feedback's been incredible from, you know, from the crafters and that's what I'm doing it for. So that I think is my greatest achievement and the feedback I'm still getting. Not many people know this, but I'm gonna share this now. Is when I lived in America when I was 19, my eyelashes turned white. So this is still my hair colour. Oh, I'm getting on a bit now, but it's just my natural hair colour, dark hair colour, white eyelashes. I look like, um, you know, the John Wyndham, Windham, um, you know, the, the Midwich Cuckoos. I look like one of those little alien people with me if I don't wear mascara. Underneath this, lily white eyelashes, go figure. I did worry for a while that I was going to turn white, you know, front emanate now from my eyes, which would have looked very strange to try and disguise for a bit. How brilliant is Sheena? Um, absolutely love her to bits and so, so funny as well. Uh, yes, me lady. Is it her impression of Parker from Thunderbird. It just ma it makes me laugh just thinking about it. So funny. Um, it's apparently she was doing it with Liam the other day as well. Yes, me lady. Hello, Parker. Yes, me lady. Um, but yeah, brilliantly talented and she's back on Wednesday. No, not just, just do impressions for two hours. Can you imagine? Yes, me lady. Um, and, and her impression of Barry Gibb from the Bee Gees. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. She <laughs> was doing all these techniques the other day, honestly. And she was just like, you know, painting away. She was like... <laughs> doing like Barry Gibb. It was so funny. And then she just started talking like, um, like Parker from Thunderbirds. Unbelievable talent, but so funny as well. Um, I'm back with Sheila on Wednesday uh, next week. So really looking forward to that. We're going to squeeze in uh, another quick demo. Oh, demo, demo. We're going to squeeze in another demo, mate, uh, with the ornate nesting dice. Um, the showstopper. How many left of these now, Johnny? Not many, have we? I don't think. Thirty-two of these remaining. Uh, Sixty-four pounds, eighty dollars. Do you want me to go through them all again? We will. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. Um, just to show you all of the designs that you're going to be getting with the brand new dies. And remember, uh, you're getting free shipping on all of this as well. And um, I think we said earlier on the actual standard bundle itself is uh, $68, so platinum, so $80. So it's like for an extra $12, you get all of the other goodies that I'm about to show you. Uh, plus, of course, you're not paying for your shipping. So um, it's an incredible deal. The dies themselves are, again, fantastic. That is now uh, what, nine, 10 projects that you've got across what Michelle and Sarah has done over the course of the day today. So you've got plenty to be going away with as well. But look, you've got your two rectangular shapes. The opal I absolutely love. Love. Talk about all the detail that you've got within that central die, within the frame itself, and then with the four corners that you've got there too. And remember, all of those little mini corner dies are all completely different. So you've got 16 different dies to embellish with, to use elsewhere, uh, to create your own frames with, if you want to do that. This is your Topaz. I'll just tell you all the names of these as well as we go through. So in case you do want to um, order separately, you can do. Um, you're then also going to get the two squares within the set, which is the root be this one here again how much detail have you got in that beautiful inner die the outer die again with that sort of uh, fan shape around the outside and four more of those corners and then lastly as far as those new dies are concerned is that uh, quartz again the outer frame the beautiful uh, inner detail and then those four uh, um, embellishments there as well. Now, if you do go for the um, showstopper, we give you two more stamp and die sets. So those are those um, fancy sentiments. So you've got the special friend, the friend stamp, of course, um, you use in conjunction with this die so you can stamp it out. And then you've got that background element there too. And then you've also got the just for you in that same set. On top of that, we also give you uh, one of these amazing die sets, which is kind of putting the uh, sentiment at the forefront of your project if friends were flowers i would pick you so all of those dies all of those stamps and then on top of that we give you a huge amount of cardstock like well not like you get exactly this 40 sheets of our centura pearl trends eight colors in here five sheets of each so all of that is included we're also going to give you 12 sheets of our heat resistant acetate you're going to get 30 sheets of our luxury cardstock in the red, so that is 10 sheets of glitter cardstock, 10 sheets of the mirror, 
10 sheets of the matte mirror, and then on top of that, you're also going to get uh, 40 sheets of our matte black cardstock included as well. That deal is incredible when you consider you get all of that and you get free shipping, but you're gonna have to, have to be one of the like, final 30 people to jump in and grab this now uh, because it is disappearing. Don't wait uh, till later on to grab it because it's likely not going to be here. You still be able to get the bundle, but not the show stopper itself. Right. Final demo, here we go, uh, and then we'll get all of the votes going. Uh, it's gonna be interesting tonight. Michelle versus Sarah. Uh, who will win? We'll find out in a minute. Um, which of the final dies are you gonna uh, use? Well, I've just been cleaning them out. I mean, uh, I don't oh. know who's been using them. Sarah! <laughs> How many times did she blame you earlier? I know. Outrageous. <laughs> I, I could it. Michelle well, kept she... running through. Yes, she Just... started shouting my name and I came running through the first time. I thought, oh my God, what have I done? But she did say, it's a good job, I love you, so I'll let her off. She can play me all she I don't wants. know if you made as much mess as she was making out either. I don't think I did. No, no. no <laughs> but she was very excited because it's such an amazing, um, amazing launch with an amazing price. So Yeah. But I'm going to use two. I'm going to use my topaz and I'm going to use my quartz. So, again, you can mix and match these beautifully. So, from the topaz, I'm going to use the frame and the inner bit. And um, that lovely ornate bit. And then from the quartz, I'm just going to use um, the middle piece. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to bring in my new plates. <laughs> Your new plates? My new plates. From this day forward, whenever you use the Gemini 2, you've got to use that voice every time. <laughs> e even down on Hobby Maker, yes. <laughs> and they'll be like, what's wrong with that? <laughs> In fact, they won't. They'll be like, oh, it's Michelle being yeah, Michelle again. Yeah, it's Michelle just <laughs> with, their, with their nonsense, as per usual. <laughs> Let's just feed the new plates through. The new plates through, you know. <laughs> of course, it's a bit I noisy, isn't it? Of course, yeah. It just. You can't believe that's how so quiet, quiet it is. That's lovely. Yeah. I mean, I didn't find the other one incredibly loud anyway. <laughs> Right, so it yep. takes me it takes me a minute when I've run it through to um, <laughs> just just compose, compose myself. yourself, yeah, <laughs> and just enjoy the moment. Absolutely, and relax. <laughs> Absolutely. Right, so just again, let's pop all these off. Yep. Nice and quietly. Pop that there. That one there. That one there. That one there. Tap this one out. And again, so let me, I'm not going to pop all these out, but you can see they pop out beautifully. I'm going to bring in a couple that I've already cut. So I've got a couple here already cut out. I've got this piece. So I'm going to bring in um, lots, lots of stuff. So it's a, a nice big card, this one. Yeah. So let me move those to the side. So I've got... Um, I've got a card, so this is 15 inches by 6 and 2 eighths. Let me just pop those here. And I've got some of this gorgeous um, paper, uh, say with flowers, we're going to pop on all three of these. So I'm just going to bring in my tape pen. So I'll pop that on here. So I could pop some of these on foam if I wanted, mm. but because of the way it folds, I can't foam pad those two because it's not going to um, fold flat. You could pop the front one on foam pads if you wanted, but again, because you're just going to have that one on and the other two not, it might look a bit odd. So we're just going to glue all of these flat down. Yeah. And then just the last one. Hannah says, inspired by today, I've been making a card with an intricate nesting frame. The frame looks so pretty around the vellum I was using. I'm going to have to completely redesign my card. Oh. And Stephen says, I'm getting ready to order the Gemini 2. I think a lot of you will be uh, grabbing that. Yeah. But is there another set your alarm for the 30th of May? Uh, you want to be up early. Set your alarm, wake up call. It's Leanne and, is it Debbie Fisher? Where is yeah. Debbie Fisher? Has anyone seen her recently? I don't know where she's, know where um, she's gone. She hasn't been up for a while, has she? No, not been. Do you know where Debbie Fisher is? 
No idea. No idea where she's. No. Where she's uh... <laughs> getting attacked by a monkey somewhere, isn't yeah, she? Yeah, last time I saw her, <laughs> she had a monkey on her head. <laughs> on her head. She did. <laughs> I think she's been sharing this with all you guys as well, hasn't she? At home. That um... was hilarious. I've got to admit. What they said, a monkey on her head. Um, <laughs> they're in um, Bangkok now, aren't they? Saw pictures of their every first outing in Bangkok. Every step of her holiday has looked amazing, hasn't it? Yeah. Is Not... anyone getting a bit jealous yet? Every time oh, yeah. I click on Facebook. <laughs> oh, God, Debbie. <laughs> yes, we all know you're having a great time. <laughs> Rub it in our faces, why don't you? <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> what am I? Uh, no, it's great to see that she's having such a great time. And what, what a holiday as well. I was going to say, it's literally Bangkok. like a holiday of a lifetime, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I mean, just fantastic. They look like they're having the best time. She'll have some stories to tell when she comes back. If you think she was bad before she went, wait till she gets back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless her. <laughs> <laughs> they do so, a lot of um, hopping around there. That's the only thing I would say is like, it's a, lot, a lot of places to go in a short space of time, isn't it? That, yeah, that's what she was saying. She says we're literally going to be on the go constantly. Yeah. So I think it's nice that they've gone from somewhere like Singapore, where they were doing lots of activities and stuff, to, yeah. um, was it Bali she was in? Bali, last, yeah. Where there was at the spa and things. So I think it's nice that um, they've been able to have sort of the alternate, alternation between yeah. lots of stuff. Have you ever been out there? No. Mm. No, it looks amazing, doesn't it? Mm, it does. One day, Have you maybe. ever been there? No. Uh, Laura did a lot of that. She did uh, Thailand, Vietnam. Uh, I think she did Singapore, Australia. She went to, bef uh, just literally just before I met her, she'd been away. Um, I think she went away for like six months doing like the whole, finished university and then just sort of traveled, bought a, you know, got a passport, got a bit of money. I can't remember where she went first, but I know she ended up in Australia uh, for quite a long time. Uh, Vietnam, Thailand, spent a lot of time in. Uh, I'm sure she went to Singapore. Um, yeah, and then she came back and met me. Aww. 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 Lucky girl. <laughs> I, think, I think the most um, extravagant and exotic place I've ever been to was Antigua. That was unbelievable. Um, I think I bored you with a story before where we went, uh, we, well, that's when I worked for a radio station and um, you know the Sandals Resorts? Yeah. They were basically doing a, a load of um, promotion across a whole host of local radio stations and ours got chosen and we were giving away, um, uh, a, I think it was a two week holiday to Antigua, to the Sandals Resort. And as part of the package, it was like, we want you to come out, we want the radio uh, station to come out and broadcast live from the resort for a week. Wow. It was like, it was the best thing ever. So we were out there for a week. Uh, broadcasting the breakfast show. I think it was in the afternoon we broadcast because of all the time differences. We just had the best time. It was unbelievable. Yeah. Sounds amazing. I'll have to go and do that again. <laughs> uh, what's that? Yeah, we could do something for me, couldn't we? Broadcast live from. Well, let us know. I mean, we, we've got. Tar. Yeah, we, we keep talking about this, but it never happens. I mean, you know, I'm sure Sarah, if she's watching in uh, Melbourne, would have us out there, you know, <laughs> yeah. pop out to Australia. I'm sure as many of our US viewers would welcome us. Uh, we we Hawaii. should definitely do that. Oh, yes. But I've been to Hawaii as well. Sorry, that's oh, yeah. another place. Oahu went to for, on our honeymoon. That was amazing. But yeah, world tour would be fantastic. Don't know how we could just, don't know how we could justify <laughs> just... Just, uh, okay, I'm, there's me going from let's go to America or Australia to let's tour the world. <laughs> I don't know how we could justify doing that though, you know, if we were to go and you know, speak to the powers that be, go speak to Simon. Uh, can we just have a few, a few grand? <laughs> um, so, I'll ask him. Yeah, you ask him. <laughs> you so um, for the, I think for the first time ever, I'm using the 3D. Um, literally because I'm not going to be able to pop foam pads behind there because you're going to see them. So your 3D Kalal is perfect for this because it's going to dry absolutely clear. So I've got these two bowing that way. I've got the middle one bowing that way. You can see they work beautifully together. I've got a couple of flowers that I'm going to pop on. So again, being careful because obviously um, the glue needs time to dry. 
that I'm going to pop some tape on that, some dotty tape on that one. And again, so these are from the Sunflower Collection. Mm -hmm. Just lift that up, pop that under there, stick you back down. I'm talking to my card, aren't I? <laughs> I bet I'm not the, yeah, definitely not the only one that does that. Especially when it's not doing what you want it to and you're sort of telling it off a little bit. <laughs> Do a craft cruise, says Pamela Kale. <sighs> yes. We, we should... We should, de <laughs> we should definitely do something like that. That sounds good. Well, up for that. Although it might be potentially, you know, would it not be a little bit too, if the boat rocks, it would be difficult to craft it. There'd be pokey tools that roll all over the place, <laughs> wouldn't there? And probably wouldn't just be the pokey tools that would be rolling all over the place on a crafty cruise. Well, no, because everyone would be, they'd be hammered really, wouldn't they? <laughs> Especially if they were with me, they'd be trying all those, you know, stereotypical Yorkshire lass. Um, boozers. Everyone will literally. <laughs> boozers? Yeah, booze. Chaz Aston's finally caved in. It says, I bought the show stop with the 10 inch album spine and in the Fiber Friday, the Gemini Pro storage bag. Nice one. Free wow. shipping there for you, Chaz, if you're in the US. Uh, and Stephanie says, I've just used for the first time heavyweight acetate with my G2 Gemini Junior plates and it cut like butter uh, all these years and first time cutting acetate wow and you're done and i'm done so a nice trifold fantastic um thank you for what has been a brilliant show uh, let's be wrapping up because we've got 15 minutes yet uh thank you for some brilliant demos and we're going to get you to vote for your favorite in just a second if you want the show stop but another one's gone we've got less than 30 of these remaining um so you've got to be quick if you want to go for the show stopper get all of those um goodies in there get the dies get all of that card stock remember you've got your um matte black you've got your um Luxury cardstock in there, you've got your acetate in there, you've got all of those um, Centura Pearl cards in there as well, and of course, free shipping. £64, $80. If you go for this today, like Chaz has done, you might want to have a little bit of a sneaky peek at Fiverr Friday and throw in some of those deals as well, uh, because those deals will not be here tomorrow, because it will be Saturday. Now, very interesting, very interesting uh, demos uh, of the show vote coming up, and then the all important demo of the day vote where it's Michelle versus Sarah. <laughs> so let's get the vote going on the demo of the show. Is it? How many cards have you done? Two, three, two. two. Um, so because look. we did some um, questions with the scarf. Ah, uh, yes. So, number one is the box that I made. Um, so that's number one, and then number two is this lovely. <laughs> it was the card. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not hear that noise? <laughs> <laughs> what they all say. It was the card. <laughs> uh, one or two, vote now. Uh, Barbara Culpepper says, Michelle, I'm loving everything you've done today. Kudos to you. Lovely card, that card, Michelle, says Rose M. Baker. Uh, Stephanie Theodore says, love the card, Michelle. Uh, and gorgeous card, Michelle, says Roseanne Carbone. Um, really, really gorgeous projects across the day today. Get voting. Uh, we'll find out what your favourite is in just a second. Here's Fiverr Friday. What's left? Let's have a look at actually what's left on Fiverr Friday because I've got a funny feeling there might be a few, um, a few sellouts. But we'll have a look, a little look in there. Click on that. Let's see. Uh, oh, the zipping store's gone. I knew that would disappear. There's the uh, 12 by 20 storage bag for your pro, which Chaz has just bought. That's still in stock. The stamp cleaning solution still in stock we've got magnetic panels the brayer cutting mats rocker blocks the alpha an alphabet for a fiver like sarah says what a deal that is we've got flower forming dyes in there what else have we got nature's garden goodies you've got um, edibles i can see sarah's signature country lane the peony dye still available what else is in there oh the beautiful uh, friendship stamp set gnome uh, stamp and dies you've got the gnome caravan uh, the gnome swing and you've also got one of our uh, interlocking sentiment dies in there as well there's loads in there to be honest with you um all you need to do is just click on the website five or friday uh, but do it today because as i say tomorrow saturday it will not be here uh right what are you laughing at <laughs> what are you laughing at what's so funny charlotte what was her charlotte Annie impression it was very good what did she do i missed it what did yeah. she do 
<laughs> oh, I didn't hear. I saw one in chat. So it's just gone. Do it. Come on. Um, so today's been National Limerick Day. Um, thank you, everybody, who um, sent through limericks early. Limericks? Yeah, limericks early on. Uh, and we've got some more here. So do we... Huh? Do we, um, do, what do you want me to do? Like, do, do you want to do some new ones now? Do you want to repeat the ones from earlier? I have got some new ones sent through. All right. Um, do, do you can do your one again if you've still got it or have you not got it? I've still got it, yeah. Have you? Okay. Sure, I'll find it. Um, so, listen, what we did, because um, I was saying, when we used to do limericks, uh, when I used to play rugby back in the day, that was a bit rude, but we always used to sing it to a little tune, so I thought, you know, it's quite uh, good if we, if we do the tune this time around as well, have some music. <laughs> so, where, where did that come from? <laughs> uh, um, so, this is actually this is actually a guitar. Um, it's just because I'm such a big bloke. Uh, big hands. Uh, um, right. So. Are you ready for some of these? Yes. These aren't mine. So th this is this is Cara de Piedra. Uh, what? What? Have I got what? Uh, okay. Right. Just she says, just just write a limerick, Ben. No, hang on. Let's get the tune right first of all. <laughs> uh, right. I've forgotten the tune. Da -da 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 -da. Here we go. Uh, just li write a lip. I can't do it. Just write a limerick, Ben said. Words are popping up in my head. The words don't rhyme. It feels like a crime. I'll have to leave it to Jan and Craig Led. There you go. <laughs> That's the first one. That was a good one. That was a good one. Betty's done one. Oh, this is about you. Who? You. Well, who else? <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, it's about someone called Michelle. Okay. So I assume that's you. There once was a girl named Michelle Who made pretty cards oh so well We all cried goodness me When she made a tsunami <laughs> <laughs> And onto her masterpiece water fell <laughs> That was that really was good! Amazing. Oh, that was amazing! Thank you! <laughs> I love the fact you got the word, the word tsunami in there It's just very impressive <laughs> Now, <laughs> this one is from earlier. Dieta sent this one through on the, the show uh, with Sarah. I'll try and do this, but this is impossible. And I, I wonder whether or not this works better in the US because it's got the word tutor in it, which you guys pronounce as tutor, isn't it? So shall I sing it American? So, yes. so it's the word tutor, but tutor. Okay, this is going to be hard. A <laughs> A tutor who tooted a flute Tried to teach two young tutors to toot Said the tutor, the tutor, it's harder to toot or to t I can't do it! <laughs> so, no, wait, wait there! Huh? Do it in an American accent! A tutor who tooted a... I can't! <laughs> I can't! I'll have to do it, I'll have to read it in English In English! I'll have to say tutor! <laughs> <laughs> this is really hard. A tutor who tooted a flute tried to teach two young tutors to toot. Said the tutor, the tutor, it's harder to toot or to tutor two tutors to toot. <laughs> Yay! That was amazing. <laughs> you was very, very good at doing that. Very clever. Linda Fitzsimmons. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to say she sent me that one. Oh, do you want to sing it? No, you sing it. Craft is, hang on, Craft is TV is on daily, demonstrations and banter shared gaily, a feast for the eyes with all the new dyes, all medias and supplies to slay me, yay! Thank you, Linda. Um, those are all the ones that have come through over the course of this show. Uh, should we see if we've got a result on the demo of the show? Uh, hopefully we have. Yes, I think we have. So demo of the show uh, is... <laughs> Number two! <laughs> Number two. All right. Um, ben, so funny, says Dieta. And Hannah says, you know what they say about men... <laughs> 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 you know what they say about men with big hands? <laughs> 
Tiny guitars. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Uh, <laughs> demo of the day. So, um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, which was your? It was this one, wasn't yes, it? That was Do you one. want to present yours? So, the, so take us through that one you did earlier on wake up call so this is my wake up call one yeah so that is number one mm -hmm. and then uh oh we'll give them to you that's number two number that's two sarah's um side sarah's. stepper two number two yeah and then number three is the one that i've just made that triple card. so one two or three i reckon you've got about two or three minutes to get your um, your vote in on that. Uh, Brenda Monroe says, what are you guys drinking over there? We've nothing yet, nothing. We're just, we're just high on live today. Um, <laughs> no, um, I've got no new ones to bring to you, but we could, um, oh, we could do, well, I don't mind. I, I, I have got it. Do you want to read your one that you did earlier again? I can do. Okay. Um, this is so earlier on because I'd I'd written four limericks for the guys here and then I'd said oh Michelle yeah you want to write, maybe write one for me and then she was oh I can't really write them and then all of a sudden she had one and then it turns out we had a bit of help didn't you we did we did yeah I, I didn't do a great job on the start but my husband finished it perfectly for me so there once was a presenter named Ben Mosby on Crafters TV he's quite the guy see that was my bit didn't rhyme. Um, he loves to sing and create and do his Arnie impression first rate. Yeah, and he'll, yeah. Sing a sh <laughs> and he'll sing a sea shanty, oh my. Yay! <laughs> there you go. I couldn't find anything to rhyme with Mosby. What rhymes with Mosby? <laughs> Cozy. See, I'd have gone with Bosey, but it's not even a real word. <laughs> The only thing they used to call me, um, would sort of, it doesn't really rhyme, but my nickname at uh, school was Nosebleed, because apparently that rhymes. <laughs> Mosby and Nosebleed. Um, what, what, do, what, shall we do another little song? Yeah, do it. Do, do you want to do the phone on a roll song? Yes, do it. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to get told off for doing this? No? Um, no, so this is, this is, uh, this is, this is, Charlotte requested this one. I feel like I'm doing a concert. <laughs> ne <laughs> Next up, this is a request for Charlotte. <laughs> so, so we don't really sing Foam on a Roll that, Foam on a Roll that much anymore, do we, apart from Debbie? Debbie Fisher sings oh, it I a lot. I sing it. Oh, do you still sing yeah. it? Yeah. Ah. Well, you can join in with the chorus then. If you know the words, join in with the chorus. <laughs> Um, but so basically I wrote it was back in I think it was October last year and I wrote because people again you should write an extended version of foam on a roll so this was it if I can remember it okay ready <laughs> the, the chorus is foam on a roll 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 hey I can't get that wrong can I, I? No. <laughs> if you need a 3d tape pen to help with decoupage or need the right adhesive to secure your shaker cards there's only one thing that I'd say you should have in your home. It's on a long roll and it's sticky and it's made of foam. Oh, foam on a roll, foam on a roll. Come on, Michelle. Foam, foam on, on a roll, roll. Foam, foam on a roll. roll, foam on a roll. That's the hey. first verse. Hey. <laughs> It comes on rolls 10 metres long, just sniff it down to size. The backing comes off easily before your very eyes. Some call it foam tape, others call it just a roll of foam. But I know what so many call it when they get it home. Oh, oh, oh. Foam on a roll, foam on a roll, foam on a roll, foam on a roll. Foam on a roll. This is the last verse. <laughs> so if you need to decoupage and have no chunky glue, I'll give you an idea of the thing you need to do. Go to our website and look up the roll of foam so long. The one that is so famous that it's got a special song. Oh. <laughs> Day -o. Day -o. <laughs> <laughs> foam on a roll, foam on a roll, foam on a roll, foam on a roll, big finish. Foam on a roll, foam on a roll. Little seventh finish three there. <laughs> there we go. That was it. That was it. 
Friday night concert uh, done and dusted. <laughs> encore, encore! No, 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 we go there, we go there, we go there. Uh, yeah, probably going to play us out. Uh, <laughs> the winner of Demo of the Day is... One! Oh! You've done it! <gasps> don't tell Sarah. Didn't you... I don't want to uh, make a thing of this, but didn't you beat her last time? Yes, that's why I said don't tell her. <laughs> Um, a massive thank you to um, Michelle. Um, what's coming up tomorrow? Just remind us. Oh, play your crafts right. Come on, win, win, win. Drink-related questions. So mm -hmm. um, I've got first look tomorrow. <gasps> oh my! What are you looking at oh, first? The Mediterranean <gasps> dreams ahead of the launch next week. Oh my god! Oh my god! Mm -hmm. And pop and the pop out die special tomorrow night. But that Mediterranean dreams. Unfortunately, it's only first look, so you can't buy it yet, but I'm gonna whet your appetite. Nice. Um, so that is lots to look forward to. I will be back with you on Sunday. Um, so I'll see you then <laughs> with Corinne. Uh, but listen, thank you so much for a great show, everybody. Remember to keep checking out your baskets. If you want that showstopper, it's hanging on by a thread. Get those deals for Fiverr Friday. And let's sing it out. Come on, everybody. Come on, everyone in the crowd. Let's get ready for one more time. <laughs> Firm on a roll. See you soon. Firm on a roll. See you, yeah. Firm on a roll. Firm on a roll. Firm on a roll.